So the uh, workshop where uh, on the occasion of the 20th anniversary of the German CLA study group has gathered, I would say, the world elite of uh, researchers in this field that have given excellent lectures uh, so far and uh, there's some insights that are particularly worth mentioning. I would say from the biology of CLL we start to understand the functional consequences of the deletion 13Q, the most frequent aberration, and Carlo Croce today told us that indirectly and directly the regulation of so-called microRNAs is heavily disturbed, leading to the upregulation of BCL2. We should be reminded that BCL2 is the target of, of the most potent drug uh, that we currently have available, Benetoclux, targeting BCL2, and also uh, regulate or change the expression of ROR1, a receptor that is frequently expressed in uh, CLL. And so there's a functional correlation between BCL2 and ROR1 uh, that are both regulated by the same microRNA. So we see some pattern emerging where targeting ROR1 plus BCL2 might actually be synergistic and eradicate CLL in these patients. So that's an interesting biological finding. I think in terms of therapy, um, we've seen first results uh, coming out of uh, the trials of the German CLL study groups that are very encouraging. Uh, they will be updated very soon at the ASH meeting, but it's already fair to say that we believe that combinations of targeted agents uh, such as uh, venetoclax plus antibodies or kinase inhibitors plus antibodies induce a high number of complete remissions and a high number of MD negative remissions and uh, this is really increasing the hope that we might eventually control CLL in the next future and I've never been as excited as I am right now about this positive development because now we are seeing these data. We should remain careful, not because of uh, embargoes of meetings, but careful because of uh, the time that these data need to mature. So overstating positive results is one of the weaknesses of physicians usually, and I try to be conservative, but I'm still very, very excited. Now, just imagine that a great number of patients could achieve an MRD negative remission, so no minimal residual disease detectable by our current standards. And that would probably translate into long-lasting remissions for the majority of the patients. And that's a beautiful uh, future that I'm now seeing in our data. And that's what uh, is, I think, the major message I have uh, extracted from the meeting.